Hello everyone. This is Sir Manoj. Welcome to Computer Class. Today we will discuss another program that is MIP number or Twisted Prime. Let's begin the class. If the number and its reverse is a prime number, then it is a Twisted Prime number or MIP number. For example, input 97 is a Twisted Prime number as the reverse of the number is 79 which is a prime number. Understand? Let's take another example. Say 43 is a prime number. The reverse of the number 34 is not a prime number. So it is not twisted prime. Okay? So here is the twisted prime or you can say MRIP number. So this is the program. Uh, class name is twisted prime. Main method I have taken the variable says num rev equals to 0, counter 1, counter 2 that is c1 equals to 0. C2 equals to 0, R, N and I. Then declare the scanner class. Then the message enter a number that will store in num. Then N equals to num. That original number will store in uh, N. Then start the for loop. For I equals to 1, I less than equals to num, I plus plus. If num mod I equals equals to 0, C1 plus plus. So here uh, to store the count, uh, to store the factors, number of factors of a given number. Then the while loop, this loop I have taken to reverse the given number. After reversing, again we have to check whether that number is prime or not. Understand? So while loop, while num is greater than 0, r equals to num mod 10, rev equals to rev into 10 plus r, and num equals to num slash 10. Right? You have used this in palindrome number. Understand? So to reverse, this is the logic of reverse the number. After that, uh, another for loop we have to take this for loop is to check whether the reverse number is a prime or not so in c2 it will store the number of factors in c1 and c2 now see the condition if c1 equals to equals to 2 and c2 equals to equals to 2 if the first number's factor is 2 and the second number factor is 2 then it is said to be a twisted prime or mrip number uh, else it is not twisted prime understand so simple logic first you have to check the first number entered numbers number of factor then put the while loop reverse the number then take another for loop to check the reverse numbers factor then at last the if condition if both the numbers having the factor 2 2 then it is said to be twisted prime or mip number so what is mip number and twisted number i had already told you let's compile the program Compile, so no syntax error, uh, run it, void main, method call window appears, click on ok, turn my window appears, enter number, suppose I will enter 31, so let us see, 31 is a twisted prime, because 31 is a prime number and if you will reverse 13, 13 also prime number, so it is twisted prime number. Let's take another example. Say 41. Okay. So 41 is not a twisted prime. 41 is a prime but if you will reverse it is coming 14. So 14 is not a prime number. Understand? Again you see the program. From the beginning class name then the main method okay practice this program uh, then go to while loop again the next for loop then the condition okay so I have done circular prime and also simple prime number those who have not watched open the school channel go to playlist and under the computer folder you scroll down there is a program uh, to display all the prime numbers 1 to 1000 understand today only you watch that video ok Wash, 
I have a soap. I have a handle. Wash, 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 w